Good afternoon, welcome to What's New. I'm Ryan Thompson here with the latest from the Annenberg Media Center. A landmark vote from the Los Angeles City Council moved LA to the forefront of gun control in America. Annenberg Media's Kevin McAllister has more from City Hall. Gun control is one of the most hotly contested issues across the country. And today that debate was brought home to Los Angeles as the City Council voted unanimously to accept a new ordinance that says that gun owners must have their gun when it's in their residence either locked in a storage container within arm's reach or have a trigger lock on it. Now opponents of the bill say that this will cost precious minutes in a situation where they need to defend themselves. Although Councilman Kikorian, who authored the bill, says that anyone opposed is arguing against common sense. Parents of children in the LA Unified School District are protesting amid investigations into childhood sexual abuse. Enberg Media's Mark Salinger attended the rally earlier this morning and has more on the story. Parents and other supporters have gathered in front of the Stop LA the USD abuse. building. LAUSD! Stop the abuse! Chanting LAUSD Stop the Abuse! Stop the abuse! Saying that LAUSD has used intimidation tactics to silence victims of abuse at LAUSD schools. I talked to one victim who said that she was hit in the head by a teacher, then went to a principal who did nothing about it, even saying that it was her fault that she got hit and threatened to expel her if she did anything about it. That's just one of many stories heard today here in front of the LAUSD building as to why LAUSD is using intimidation tactics to silence abuse victims. The LAUSD has not yet released a statement responding to the allegations. USC janitors are rallying on campus to fight for better contracts. ATVN recorder, reporter Kelly Renke is, has more from Tommy Trojan. Yeah, that's right, Ryan. In just a little bit, USC janitors and their supporters will be marching from the Finger Fountain to here at Tommy Trojan, where they'll be gathering, asking for higher wages, job security, and a better working environment. Now, as LA moves to a $15 minimum wage increase, USC janitors say they paid $10 an hour. This is the last chance USC janitors can ask the leadership to change their contracts because heading into next week, USC janitors will be meeting with a subcontractor to discuss their contract. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Kelly. USC student government will vote tonight on a resolution that would seek additional support for diversity on campus. The resolution calls for the hiring of a vice president for diversity, an additional Title IX investigator, and $100 million in funding to support underrepresented minorities. The vote will take place tonight at 7 p.m. USC Annenberg welcomed some very special guests today. The winners of the International Women's Media Foundation's Courage in Journalism Award toured the media center and spoke about how journalism can implement change. What describes a good story is whether or not it is able to be of public interest. It is able to inspire hope and change in the lives of many. That's what I believe in. And I believe a story that will be able to touch those that are most vulnerable in our communities makes more impact. Moabe Kumwenda, Anna Nimzova, and Lourdes Ramirez won the Courage in Journalism Awards. They received the awards for facing and surviving danger to uncover the truth. Thanks for checking in with us here in the Annenberg Media Center. Don't forget to come back for Annenberg Radio News at 4 p.m. and I'll be back at 6 with Annenberg TV News.